breaking news welcome to today's headlines exposed journalists who covered president buhari's funeral in saudi arabia finally speaks exposed journalists who covered president buhari's funeral in saudi arabia finally speaks shows evidence to my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from please stay tuned as i read to this news journalist who covered president buhari's funeral in saudi arabia finally speaks shows evidence a nigerian journalist based in london identified as boris morrow who, report, who reportedly covered buhari's burial in saudi arabia in 2017 after he died in london after he died in london hospital as exposed how the nigerian government swept buhari's death under the carpet seized his camera threatened to kill according to the international journalist his mother is from britain while his father is a nigerian it disclosed that he was the only journalist who covered buari's burial and the also rock cabals added by later bakiari threatened his life asked him to keep short and offered him bright which he rejected. The journalist who said he worked with a popular television station in Nigeria, he was suspended from work, adding that the that the met Tinobu Oshibajo El Rufai Abakiari and others. And they asked him to shut up that the Nigerian system is different from other countries. It is not everything that the citizens must know. The journalist also mentioned Gaduji, governor of Kaduna State, Sultan of Shokoto, El Rufai, and other prominent leaders who witnessed Buhari's burial. In Saudi Arabia, challenged them to come out and debunk his report, and he will come out with video evidences, though they seized his camera, but he has a backup. Speaking in a telephone interview with another journalist, he explained how Buari died, where he was buried. How the Kabas took over the government and how Aisha Buhari mourned on the day Buhari died. How he met top African leaders to intervene, but they said it is not their problem. He said President Mukwamodu Buhari died on the 19th of February 2017. He died as a result of heart attack, heart disease in Freeman's Hospital in Oskastu, London, which the Nigerian presidency failed to dispel. On 19th of February, I was in London by the special grace of God. I am a journalist. I work with one of the leading Nigeria broadcasting station, so I covered the event in London. He died in Freeman Hospital. He explained that because Muslims don't do embalmment, that was why Buhari's corpse was fled to Saudi Arabia where he was buried. On the 28th of February, 
Buari's corpse was fled to Saudi Arabia, where he was buried. I was there live and I covered the event where Aisha Buari put on white attire as a sign of mourning to her husband, who is the late president, Muhammad Buari. The journalist further stated that he had all the videos of Buari's burial in Saudi Arabia. Buari's children were put in on black. I have the videos. I have the photos. Then on the 23rd of February, I was in Ethiopia and as a journalist, I moved around. In Ethiopia, the African Union AU held a minute silence for the late Muhammad Buari to show their last respect. Journalists who covered President Buhari's funeral in Saudi Arabia finally speaks. Shows evidence a Nigerian journalist based in London, identified as Boris Moro, who reportedly covered Buhari's burial in Saudi Arabia in 2017 after he died in London Hospital as exposed how the Nigerian government swept Buhari's death under the carpet, seized his camera, threatened to kill according to the international journalist. His mother is from Britain while his father is a Nigerian. He disclosed that he was the only journalist who covered Buhari's burial and the Asso Rock Cabal. Added by late Abakiari threatened his life, asked him to keep short, and offered him bride, which he rejected. The journalist who said he worked with a popular television station in Nigeria he was suspended from work. Added that he met Tinubu, Oshibajo, Erufai, Abakiari, and others and they asked him to shut up that the Nigerian system is different from, their, from other countries. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.